guys. <coughs> uh, Tom is here. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fine. Um, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on what happened uh, yesterday. Uh, there's news reports that uh, they had a, a mass shooting situation in this the uh, in a subway station in in New York City, and uh, I'm not located in New York City. Uh, but I have visited New York City and I've been on the subways before, so I do have a little bit of a frame of reference. <coughs> and um, um, I'm sorry that, that happened to all those good folks. Uh, they were just minding their own business, uh, trying to take care of their own needs, going to, I got a ghetto bird, <laughs> which makes us apropos. Um, I'm coming from coming to you from the mean streets of uh, Baltimore City. We got our own demons here too, but I'm not gonna talk about that right now. So <clears throat> I just wanted to, to, to say that uh, those innocent people who had their lives interrupted uh, because of this, this one person who uh, was probably having a bad day or probably had several bad days and he felt the need that he needed to act out. So. I'm, I'm just wanted to, you know, to send my 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 heartfelt um, sorry and condolences to the family and, and to the people involved. That I'm sorry that this hap happened to you, and uh, I wish you guys um, the best. Um, hopefully, um, your injuries are aren't that bad, and that you can make a quick recovery. Um, that would be good for you and for. Uh, everybody involved. As far as <clears throat> the shooter, the, there are reports now that they do have the, the man in custody. And I hope that he is put off the streets uh, and get the treatment that he so desperately needed. And I'm sorry that he had to act out in that way in order for him to get some type of attention. And uh, I, I, I don't know what his past history, criminal history is, uh, so I'm, I'm not going to assume any of that. I'm just going to say for right now um, that he gets some needed psychiatric help and that someone will address his needs, but uh, because of his, that violent act, he, he does not deserve to be out right now. And anybody who uh, thinks that this person uh, deserves some type of bail uh, should really, really think about that. I don't want to have anybody be put in harm's way uh, for someone who is unstable. And so the third thing is that I'm, I want to congratulate law enforcement for what they did and, and they were able to uh, capture uh, this, this individual um, with um, no Hopefully, I don't know yet, but no one being hurt, and the people, uh, the law enforcement, were able to capture this person without any incident. But, <coughs> excuse me, I do have to say something about, um, in general, about uh, about uh, the subway system. I find it uh, preposterous. Let me get a little bit of drink here. I find it preposterous that uh, the cameras that were in the subway were not working, were not functioning. Um, that's that's poor. You, <coughs> excuse me, this is one of the biggest subway systems in the world, and serves over four hundred thousand people a day. And you can't get the sub, you can't get the video camera working. Somebody needs to be uh, terminated. Questions need to be asked because it could have been something else happened. And <coughs> excuse me, it's it's bad. So that's just my two cents. So take care.